Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to test and diagnose the cooling fan resistor using a multimeter. This cooling fan resistor can cause serious damage on your engine because it's gonna operate the cooling fan. And it's one of the most common problems on many cars. So today I'm gonna explain how this works. I will explain the wind diagram and then I will show you how to test this one with multimeter. Before starting the diagnostic, if you guys haven't subscribed the channel yet, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you will get the notification when we upload new diagnostic videos. All right, first of all, let's have a look at the wind diagram for this car. So this engine comes with only one cooling fan, not two. So as you see, I have cooling fan, low speed relay and high speed relay right here inside the engine fuse box, which are controlled both by ECM. So this is the ECM. As you see the cooling fan relay, both of them, the low speed and high speed, they are both controlled by uh, engine control module. So basically when engine is running, ECM keeps looking at engine coolant temperature sensor to monitor the engine temperature. And based on the engine temperature range, is gonna activate the cooling fan relay low or high. But what happens that the cooling fan rotates at low speed or high speed? So as you see, this is the cooling fan relay low. When this one kicks in, the battery voltage from here is gonna travel all the way to the cooling fan. And when cooling fan high speed kicks in, the battery voltage from here, this time from this wire is gonna go to the cooling fan. But the difference is actually this resistor inside the cooling fan itself. Inside the cooling fan, this resistor is gonna actually help to change the voltage for low speed. Both relays are actually providing same amount of voltage, but the difference is just where they provide the voltage. So when cooling fan low speed relay provides the power supply, it gets to the cooling fan assembly and it has to travel through the resistor. And of course, after that, it will reach to the cooling fan motor itself. But the outcome, the output of this one is gonna be way less voltage. So because right here at pin number two, we should expect the battery voltage or when engine is running charging voltage. But on the output right here, what, what we are actually delivering to the cooling fan motor itself, it's not the battery voltage, it's, it's dropped. That's, how, that's why cooling fan rotates at lower speed. But when cooling fan high relay kicks in, this time the battery voltage gets to the cooling fan motor from here and as you see it's not gonna go through the resistor this time it's actually bypassed it's gonna reach to the motor after the resistor so it means whatever voltage we are delivering to this pin is gonna get delivered to the cooling fan motor itself causing the cooling fan to rotate at higher speed so let's do some experiment on the resistor itself see how we can confirm whatever i explain right now and what's gonna happen if that resistor is actually broken this is the cooling fan resistor and is located just right here i have one connected with three pins at the input and one connected with two pins for output so out of these three pins one of them is coming from the uh, low speed fan relay one of them is coming from the high speed one and one of them is actually the ground so i'm gonna put this one back over here and the other one goes just like this but the location is just right here next to the cooling fan if i show you the location it's just like this the cooling fan resistor goes exactly like this inside and you have and you need to just bolt it on the cooling fan just like this it's located right there so as you see what i'm gonna do right now on the output connector i have two wires one of them the solid black wire is the ground and the other black white wire is actually the power supply going to the cooling fan so if any of high speed or low speed cooling fan relay is working of course i'm gonna have different voltage range in here because we are trying to activate the cooling fan at lower speed when lower speed cooling fan relay is activated so i'm gonna back prop this just like this okay so and i will use the multimeter to measure the output voltage on multimeter 
the red prop goes in here okay and the black one on a good ground so ignition switch is on right now so on multimeter if i select voltage so you see i'm not getting anything it's just something close to zero so what i can do for activating the cooling fan i can just activate it with scan tool right here on the system list i'm gonna go for the engine and i go for the actuation test so i have two options for the uh, cooling fan fan motor control low speed and this one is for the high speed so i'm gonna activate the low speed ignition on engine off if i press the start the cooling fan starts operating and have a look at the multimeter when i press the start button right here and when cooling fan low speed operates look at the multimeter i'm pressing the start on a scan tool So as you can hear, the cooling fan is operating at low speed. The voltage reached to 7.5. So basically a scan tool just activates the cooling fan for five seconds. That's why voltage goes high and drops down again. But the maximum voltage that we are getting from here is something around 7.5. So this was basically how cooling fan resistor was affecting the voltage. The voltage that we are delivering to the cooling fan resistor is 12.6 uh, right now because uh, ignition switch is on but the output voltage from the resistor to the cooling fan was 7.5 and if i go back from here and if i select uh, fan motor control high speed so again it's going to work five second ignition switch on and if i press start this time cooling fan is going to get activated at high speed so one more time have a look at the multimeter i'm activating the cooling fan at high speed so you see it's delivering almost the battery voltage to the cooling fan that's how cooling fan runs at high speed So what's gonna happen if the cooling fan resistor is broken? So basically if that one is broken, it's not gonna deliver the voltage for the cooling fan to operate at lowest speed. So some guys, instead of changing the cooling fan resistor, they just bypass the cooling fan resistor. So what's gonna happen if they do it? Uh, generally, if you do it, the cooling fan runs only at high speed, which is not going to be okay because it will shorten the cooling fan lifetime and of course it will affect the engine efficiency as well. But by monitoring the output voltage on the cooling fan resistor, we can easily check if the cooling fan resistor is working properly or not. This is one of the major causes of cooling fan malfunction. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos.